AMX is celebrating its 40th anniversary with a brand new set of products and an overhaul for its portfolio. It's already launched Jetpack and Varia touch panels. And at IC 2023, AMX launched the SPSI N2600 encoders and decoders. Samuel, why did AMX decide to focus on AV over IP as the next launch, which makes up the celebration of its 40th anniversary? Well, AMX strategic acquisition of SVSI eight years ago showed the potential that AMX believed in for AV over IP. So back then, when network AV was still something new for everyone in the industry. So since then, our SVSI portfolio has been widely adopted by a variety of leading organizations in the corporate sector, government, education, and even uh, some of the entertainment sector as well. So as we celebrate our 40 years of rich history for AMX, we are launching 40 new skills. These new products are not just products that we built just to fit into any category, but rather these are new products that sets a new paradigm for what's possible in its segment. So our, our AMX engineering continues to push the boundaries and identify what are the new challenges in the marketplace that you know, perhaps uh, already solved but not as effectively as they should be or, or even uh, they are not being solved. So this N2600 series really uh, addresses to that and really are products that we believe will stimulate new ideas and push new boundaries for hybrid learning and enterprise streaming video distribution. We both know that AV over IP is a very hotly contested product vertical. There are a lot of players that have products that do AV over IP. What do you think sets the AMX SVSI N2600 apart from the rest of the competition? I would say that the N2600 series brings a lot of excitement into the streaming space and what's possible in terms of encoding and decoding. So this new series of low bandwidth SVSI encoders and decoders combines both affordability and versatility to make it ideal for education sector, corporate, hospitality, government, or, or even other streaming application. So the N2600 models feature a high quality yet low latency 4K6444 MWC streaming that delivers excellent video quality for transmitting both live video and detailed content within, uh, say, classrooms, meeting spaces, courtrooms, bars, even other applications as well. And on top of that, with a full bandwidth USB 2.0 routing capabilities and USB USB C port available on the warplate encoders, our N2600 series allows USB devices such as cameras and conferencing soundbars to be easily integrated into room solutions. So being versatile here is really crucial into making this new series of SVSI the ideal solution across the different sector and including streaming over the internet. So our S models in particular incorporate just that uh, with the H.264 uh, streaming that is uh, built in on top of the MWC compression. It allows for distributing video over the internet. And this would mean that it's especially useful for, for example, in, in corporate town halls for MNCs or, for example, special live streaming events. And what's more, these S models are even compatible with third party devices and networks such as Panopto, Wowza, YouTube, and even Facebook. So adding on to that, uh, in any scenario such as command centers, where video war is a very common scene in, in, in command centers, and when it comes to video war, windowing solution is, is required. The N2600 series work very well with the N3000 windowing processor to allow users to be able to view multiple sources on the single screen or video wall using our AV over IP solution. Hmm. 
I'm going to focus a little bit on the MWC codec and the USB support. Uh, both of these are very interesting features, in my opinion. Um, what sort of positive end user outcomes do you think MWC codec and the USB 2 and USB C support provides? As small integrators and end users become more receptive towards AV over IP solution, one common question they have in mind is very often the latency towards the switching of various sources and how comparable is it against the conventional HD based T switches and also what else can be achieved through network AV. So with the MWC or what we call the motion wavelet compression, our N2600 series can truly achieve high quality of video while still maintain the low latency. So it's really great for end room experience where there is a reference to live presentation or videos where you can't really detect the delays in between as you compare them. And as for USB support, traditionally SVSI had KVM into their encoders and decoders for HID devices only. But now with the N2600 series, all our models in this series support not just the HID devices, but also extend out to have the full bandwidth of USB 2.0 routing capabilities to give users even greater flexibility into their usage of the systems, such as utilizing on the room cameras while joining the Zoom or Teams meetings from their laptops, or in other words, BYOD. Now in today's world, where technology must bring a lot more convenience to users, yet, there is still the need to cater to the different user habits or workflow that they are so used to. Flexibility becomes key when it comes to providing such solutions. With USB-C capabilities added on the wall plate encoders, users can easily share their ideas or content or even jump into any virtual meetings by simply connecting their devices through the USB-C. This brings about greater convenience and versatility towards the workflow of the different users. And in terms of integration partners, this flexibility also means a much simpler way for them to cater to their wide range of customers' requirements as well. They no longer need to find the different parts of the solution from the different suppliers or manufacturers and try to put them together to do some testing to see if the solution works. Now, all they need to do is to just look into the N2600 to fulfill a greater part of their requirement. And last but not least, the cost effective price point is also one huge attraction to both the integrators and end users with this kind of flexibility as well. Samuel, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.